Hello, my name is Muhammad Abu Talha Ibn Riyaj Hassan. My metric number is A20EC 3022. And this is the Probability and Statistical Data Analysis Project 2. The title of our project is Sleep, Health and Lifestyle Among People Who Pursue Very High Intellectual Careers. This is the group project presentation video. So first, let me start off with my part, which was the Hypothesis 1 and Hypothesis 2 sample. So in the Hypothesis uh, Testing 1 sample, what I did was I tested if the people in our data set slept equal to uh, 7 hours or less than 7 hours. So the null hypothesis for this test was mu equal to 7 and the alternative hypothesis for this test was mu less than 7. I assume that the significance level is equal to 0 0.05 and the n is equal to 374 because the number of people in our data set is 374. After I ran the uh, R script in, on R Studio, I got a test statistic of 3.21, critical value of minus 1.64. And also, this uh, the graph that I got was a left tail graph. So from the graph, we can see that the test statistic is outside the critical region, which means that we fail to reject null hypothesis and we can conclude that there is enough evidence to suggest that the mean sleep duration of the people in our sample is equal to seven hours and it is not equal to less than seven hours. For hypothesis testing two sample, uh, what I did was I compared the mean sleep, uh, mean sleep quality of males with females. So as we can see in our data, the mu one is male sleep quality, mu two is female sleep quality so on and so forth. From here, the null hypothesis for this testing was mu1 is equal to mu2, which means that the male average sleep quality is equal to the female average sleep quality. And for the alternative hypothesis, the male average sleep quality is greater than the female average sleep quality. Since the test uh, here uh, are all the uh, all the data that we received from our R script, and since the test statistic is less than the critical value, as we can see, the test statistic is in the fail to reject region. We fail to reject the null hypothesis, meaning that we can claim that there is enough evidence to suggest that among people who pursue intellectually challenging careers, women get more quality sleep than men. So that was my part for this project. Now, Tamjid will continue with his part with correlation. Hello, I'm Islam Mahmudul and uh, my part is correlation and in this part I, I am testing the, uh, about the sleeping more hours a night than do adult with the higher report stress level. Uh, from the graph uh, we can see that uh, graph shows the negative correlation and that meaning that average sleeping duration has a linear negative correlation with the average stress level. Uh, so we can uh, tell that uh, it indicates a strong negative linear uh, relation between the two variables. So it means the average sleeping uh, duration uh, uh, increase, the average stress level uh, tends to decrease. Uh, that's my part. And next. Okay, uh, hello, uh, my name is Frozen Ahmed and my metric number is 820EC2016 and my, pa my part is regression. So here basically we're, uh, we're going to see if there's a relationship between sick quality and stress level. And here you can see the scatter plot graph and on the y-axis you can see the uh, sleep quality and on the x-axis you can see the stress level. And from the above figure uh, we can clearly see that the stress level and the sleep quality are linearly negatively correlated, meaning if stress, stress level increases, the sleep quality of that person will decrease. And you see, and, and from this, we can find out what the stress level of a person should be in order to uh, get a good, a good uh, sleep quality. Okay, and this is from my part, and children will continue with this part. Next. Hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Khalid Mahmoud Shujan. <clears throat> so to, uh, for my part, I was responsible to work with ANOVA, uh, which is um, analysis of variance. 
So in this part, I had uh, I had a great opportunity to work with this uh, with a new idea. So in this uh, part, we actually tried to uh, uh, test. Uh, we tried to conduct a new test, uh, which is ANOVA. And in this case, we tried to execute that. Uh, is there any relationship between the profession and uh, the heart uh, uh, heart problem? So uh, here, our null hypothesis was mean heart rate of all occupation are equal, and the alternative hypothesis will be at least one heart rate is different. That means if a person are from medical or medicine industry, uh, his heart rate will be completely different the, uh, the, the person who is from IT industry. Uh, that means the occupation will play a big role to indicate the heart problem. So uh, after running our uh, our uh, program, then we got uh, uh, we got a result. Uh, in that result, we can uh, notice that the statistics, test statistics, is three point three zero and so on, and the critical value is zero point three nine one and so on. So here, the main point is that we can notice that the statistic test statistics is greater than the critical value. So as we know that if the test statistics value is greater than the critical value, of course, it will reject the null hypothesis. So as we know that our null hypothesis was that uh, uh, the mean uh, uh, the mean heart rate of all of population are equal. So it will reject that. That means we can claim uh, that uh, the mean heart rate of all of population are not equal as it will reject the null hypothesis. So thank you very much. That was Mark Park. Thanks to all. Uh, so that was our group presentation uh, for project two of um, uh, of uh, the probability and statistical anal data analysis course. Thank you for listening.